Hello and welcome. This video will cover wheel and axle acceleration, in which we are going to predict the time taken by a wheel rolling on its axles along the slope. So, in this uh, experiment, we will need the uh, uh, experiment apparatus, which is the slope and the wheel, which has axle in the middle, measuring tape to take any measurements required, stopwatch to log the time, vernier caliber to get any diameters you might need, and gloves is very important if you are handling the wheel or dealing with the experiment apparatus. If you are doing the measurements, you can do it without the gloves. Safety shoes is essential as we are dealing with heavy weights. So, we'll uh, brief you on the experiment setup quickly, then we'll carry on a couple of tests to make you familiar with the experiment. This slope can be adjusted using uh, the bolts in here, but you are not doing any adjustment while doing the lap. This is a preset for you. We have distance marked at every 10 centimeters, so we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and Maximum is 60, which is the total length of the slope. So basically, you will be getting the wheel, placing it on any of the marks, and the wheel axle, if you can not, if you can see, got two grooves in there, which will fit on the size of the slope. So what we are going to do, we are going to start from any of the marks, you got measuring tape to confirm the distance. We'll let the wheel roll on its axle while logging the time required for that. Now always uh, do uh, the experiment between two marks. Don't do it to the edge of the slope because this wheel is heavy, it's about 5 kg and at its roll down it gets accelerated and might fall down, hurt you or hurt one of your colleagues. So I'll show you an example here. If we would like to get the time for 10 centimeters of rolling, let's place it at this point. We are going to start logging the time as we let the wheel go and stop till it reaches here. So we zero the stopwatch first, then we let the wheel go. And by that we got the time. So we have the time now for 10 centimeter movement. You will be different steps of 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 centimeters. The maximum you will do is 50 centimeters, which will be starting from the last mark here to the 10 centimeter one. So always make sure that when you let it go, one person is dealing with the wheel, so you don't let it go, somebody else is waiting for it on the other side. Okay, so we let it go, we start with the time, somebody else can do the timing. Then you can see now it's accelerating, and you will need to know the time when it reaches 10. That will give you a travel distance of 50 centimeters, and that is safe rather than just waiting till it reaches the edge and fall down and hold it. Okay? If you are not using the wheel or you are taking different measurements, always make sure that you keep it in a safe position, which you can do it just like that or like that. This position is good also if you want to take the diameter uh, readings. You will need the axle diameter and you will need the wheel itself um, which you can do it just like that. Weighing scale will be provided for you in the lab just in case you want to measure the weight of the wheel. Measuring tape, you can use it to confirm the distance and the marks. Some of the apparatus will not be marked or the mark is fading, so always you got your own measuring tape, you can measure the distance confirm these spaces and do your experiment. So this is basically it. Uh, I hope you learned something from this video. Now keep in mind, safety shoes is essential with this experiment because we are dealing with heavy weights. 
anyway, safety shoes is required for all the experiments in mechanical lab and gloves is a good idea while dealing with this. Thank you very much.